Ken, you don't want to be a page forever. Who said I've been alive forever? What? Boy, you look happy. Would you settle that lawsuit over your exercise tape? Even better, I had an amazing date last night, and it's all thanks to Kenneth. Oh, it was nothing. Sure, I was legally dead for five minutes, but I did it for true love. Oh, actually, it turns out Roger has sole custody of his five-year-old son, so... Wait a minute, you were dead? Oh, I'm fine. But I think I brought something back with me. What's wrong, Ken? You got wife eyes. I'm just sad, sir. I've worn this old jacket since 19... But, uh, and now they've just thrown it away. Now you wait just one minute. I am sorry to be using my barn voice in front of a lady, but I am riled up. It is not enough that you killed the bird I've had for almost 60 years, but the fact that you didn't trust me is unforgivable. Hey, you know, Liz and I were just talking about that old Rob Bass song, It Takes Two. Yeah, everybody our age knows that song, right? Ladies love me, girls adore me. I mean, even the ones who never saw me like, like the, the way, way that, that I rhyme at a show. show. The, the reason, reason why, why man, I don't know, so let's go, cuz. It takes two to make a thing go right. It takes two to make it out of sight. No, I mean, what's your dream job? Where do you see yourself in 10 years? Well, you know how much I love television, sir. So I guess my dream would be to one day run the network. <laughs> Just kidding. There won't be a network. But whatever people are watching, I want to be in charge of it. Granted, the microwave industry isn't what it used to be, and the American love affair with the microwave oven has cooled since its post-war heyday. And she told her daddy she was doing the microwave. Do the microwave, rah, rah, the microwave. Do the microwave, wabba, gabba, gabba, wabba. Did that happen? Hey, remember this song? If it a fair maiden a night chance to see, I'll strike his fair steed to spy. Son of a married couple, Bucky Bright! You know who this is? Who doesn't? Uh, most people. Oh, this is just so immature sometimes. That's why I like you, Kenneth. You're an old soul. Thank you. My mama thinks so too. In fact, she's pretty sure I'm the reincarnated soul of Adrian Twyford. He was our town minister who died in an organ fire. Kenneth, show him the drawing of the new field. Oh, sorry. <laughs> this is my dream journal. They've all come true so far. I also have this low frequency tone that can only be heard by people over 40. Have you started playing it yet? <laughs> <laughs> speak with you for a moment. What is happening to me? Did you know the Today Show used to have a monkey on it? Hasn't been as good since. I think that chimp used to drive the truck himself on You Know What and the Bear. To sit in solemn silence in a dull, dark dock, awaiting the sensation of a short, sharp shock. To sit in darkness in a sharp, sharp shop, in darkness and sitting in the sharp. This is stupid. This is not stupid. These are the building blocks of the craft of acting. Something I have dedicated my life to ever since my very first job as baby stuck in well, in a commercial for well guards. <clears throat> well guards, guard your well. Well. I remember that commercial. You are a fat baby. A friend of mine has been worried they'll be bringing in new page rules, like age limits and age verification. When I first started working here, an eight-year-old Shirley Temple taught me how to roll a cigarette. And here you can see one of NBC's editing bays. Tracy Jordan, the star of TGS and numerous films, has died. Tracy no. Jordan. No, it can't be! I'm not done with him, Jacob! He stays on this side! Kenneth, Tracy's not dead. NBC News makes obituaries for celebrities to have them ready. They're just updating Tracy's to include his recent submarine DUI. Oh, thank goodness. What are you wearing? My NBC page dress blues. I want to look good in case I get on camera. On what camera? Well, Mrs. Jordan's reality show is going to be following Mr. Jordan around while he's at work. What? I know, isn't it exciting? I've never been on TV before. I hope I photograph okay. Because when I look into a mirror, 
There's just a white haze. Who told Tracy he could bring cameras here? Well, Mr. Donaghy. Thank you. I couldn't put the memo in your mailbox because it's full of unread adoption materials. Yeah. That is true, sir. But today does make me wonder where we'll all be five years from now. So much of television is really not fit for children or Christians or the elderly. So what if there was a black bar on the lower half of your TV screen that kept you from seeing bad things, like nudity or soccer? Congratulations. Worst so far. So many memories. Hello, Parcel and the Squatters resident. Mr. Dufoin. Party City does not sell giant see-through clocks or strap-on Pegasus wings, so I got this paper pineapple instead. Oh, I'm so tired. I was out all last night with my new rock star boyfriend. I listened to rock and roll music once, but I stopped before I started worshiping the devil. The song went, Mr. Sandman, then I shut it off. Good morning, fresh coffee. Good morning, clean floor. Funny, Kenneth. You don't have any smell at all. Don't worry about it. How much do you make? I'm not sure. My church requires a 110% tithe. How old are you? Don't worry about it. How much have you saved? Are you talking about saving squirrels from hawks? Zero. If you really want to be friends with people like this, you are going to have to quit the page program. Hey, Kenneth. Nice tux. My father wore this to his high school prom. The theme was enchantment under the Jim Crow laws. You see all the good that is in them? How much capacity for love? Yes, I know. I just need more time with them. Give me more time, Jacob! I beg of you! Why are you doing this to me, Jacob? <laughs> I don't have a place to live, Kenneth. I'll have to go back upstate to that cult. Oh, God, I had so many husbands. You really don't have a place to live? Where will you sit patiently in the dark while you wait for the next day to start? I mean, sleep. We interrupt this program to bring you an NBC News special report from Rockefeller Center, Chet Huntley and David Brinkley. Good evening, NBC News has learned... Kenneth, be honest. Am I the worst person you know? Ms. Maroney, judging is for God and his angels. So, yes, you are. Yes. Now, take off that bald cap, Kenneth. We have a lot of work to do. Of course. Take off my bald cap, not put on my wig. Marlene, you must be so proud of Kenneth. Smell him. That's Jenna Maroney's garbage. Oh, he's always been a special boy. I remember the day he was born. He looked up at me and he said, Mama, I am not a person. My body's just a flesh vessel for an immortal being whose name, if you heard it, would make you lose your mind. You remember that, honey? Oh, we're just all so proud of Kenny. <laughs> I tell everyone I meet, I know a big shot up in New York City. <laughs> <laughs> Great story, Ron. So the whole show just takes place here at 30 Rockefeller Plaza. Is that right, Miss Lemon? Yes, sir. It's based on stories my great-grandmother told me. I know. 